What is up, GOAT world? It's me, your boy, JDZ, and I'm back at you again with another GOAT format video. Ah, my favorite time of the year is here, and no, I'm not talking about Thanksgiving. No, I'm not talking about Christmas or any holiday season that you may enjoy around this time of year. I'm talking about the beginning of the dueling season. It is almost back, and it is almost underway. It's time to start picking those GOAT format cards back up and dueling. But for all the people who keep reaching out, I'm going to take a little bit of time now to kind of inform you about the different options available you have to yourself to play the GOAT format game in, in the online arena. IRL, you know, you can go to your local area. You can typically find people playing GOATs in small numbers in a variety of places all over the country and all over the world. I say, what's up, GOAT world, you know, to everyone who's playing GOATs all over the place. But I'm really focused more on the online arenas and the different ways that you can play GOATs. So I'm going to do that. So just come with me on this journey. But as always, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. If you know this stuff, go ahead and make sure you help me out in the comment section to kind of shepherd people into the right locations uh, and tell me if I get it right or if I get it incorrect. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is going to be dueling book. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Cam Saunders yesterday. Make sure you guys check out that video and see what some of the rulings you should know. But I want to talk about dueling book. So at any point, if you want to play this game online, you can go on to the duelingbook.com, create a deck, and immediately go play against people right now. No strings attached. You can do that and just have fun with it. If that's the extent of where you want to go with it, that's fine. You can do that, but the game can go significantly deeper than that. So the first layer of the first place that you should go if you want to play this game at a more competitive level or if you want to play this game with more of a community aspect of it, if that's your kind of thing that you like playing with other people that you can kind of get to know, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go by GoFormat.com Discord. Okay, all these discords will be down in the description. Okay, GoFormat.com hosts several events. They happen all the time throughout the entire dueling season or the dueling year. You know, it goes from October to October, essentially. The first event I'm going to talk about is going to be the Free Roll Friday. Okay. Okay, every Friday, there are going to be two free to enter Go Format events one at 1 p.m. Eastern and one at 7 p.m. Eastern. These are completely free to enter. You can join up and play and have fun with it. How you do that is exactly how you do every event. Once that event window opens, you just hit exclamation point, join, have your deck link ready, and then send it to the bot. Once you do that, you'll be you'll be registered and seated into the into the tournament. Uh, if you have any questions with any of that, make sure you reach out to any of the staff or myself, and I will be glad to help you do that. So that's every Friday, 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. If you happen to win one of those events, you qualify to enter the Goat Grinder Invitational. Those happen periodically throughout the year as well. I think we're going to try to do two this season. Basically, you everyone who wins one of those events or ends at a certain percentage on the ladder, you get to qualify to go to that event. If you win the Goat Grinder Invitational, you are then invited to the Goat Format World Championship that takes place in October. So that's one way to get in. Another way to get in is going to be the Patreon World Championship Qualifier Series that, that, that goes on in the Discord as well. You do have to pay at the tournament tier to qualify to enter those events. However, they do happen twice a month. So they're going to be two times a month. On, on November 19th, there's going to be a premium World Championship Qualifier. The first one of the next dueling season is taking place. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you sign up for that. That is going to be this Saturday happening sign up uh, just make sure you sign up for the patreon at the at the tournament tier and you can qualify to enter that event they can get very competitive very quickly so just make sure you be cognizant of that uh, around i say around usually around 30 to 40 maybe even 50 players show up to those events typically and if you win one of those events you are qualified to go to the go format world championship right away uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that if that is something that you're interested in. So you have the free roll, the goat grinder, the Patreon or the premium world championship qualifier. And then the next thing I want to talk about is the premier event. GoFormat.com's premier regular season event is going to be the goat format championship. OK, there are going to be three goat format championships this year. They happen essentially quarterly for the most part. Uh, these are going to be completely free to enter goat format tournaments, double elimination typically. And they're going to be huge. They're massive events. A lot of people show up to these because everyone wants the prestigious title of GOAT format champion. And if you earn that, you get to qualify for the Clash of Champions and you have the title and it's usually lots of prizes. World's invitations are given out for GFCs as well. So if you can't make it to a lot of the other events, try to set your schedule once. Pay attention to the announcements in the Discord and to the website and to this YouTube channel. You can find more information will be coming out about all these events. And if there is a GFC that fits in your time, I would try to make it because those are really, really cool events to participate in. 
And if you win a GFC, you can qualify for the Clash of Champions, like I mentioned earlier. All title champions from the past and also currently are always going to be qualified to enter in the Clash of Champions. So if you do win a GOAT format championship, you can qualify to play in the Clash of, Champ Clash of Champions and you will always uh, be able to do that. And it's a fun event as well. So even SJC champions, YCS champions, all champions through the history of, uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh! are always going to be qualified to enter the Clash of Champions. So those are some of the premier events that happen in GOAT format com discord they happen all the time and you're all free to participate in those as much or as little as you want so it's not just the goat format discord okay there are other discords as well that you can join and enter that play goat format and heavy rotation the next discord i want to mention is going to be the format library discord okay shout out to jazz and the staff at format library discord they do a lot of great work for the goat format game and for retro communities in general okay a lot of events are taking place over there not just goats so if you're thing is just you like playing ghosts but you also like playing other retro formats like any other thing that you can think of they have a community there for you to participate in those in those uh, formats so go check that out but if you're sticking specifically to goats they have a premier event over there that is goat format centric it's called the flc okay it is another major goat format event huge turnouts for those events they are very prestigious a lot of people want to play in those events a lot of people win those events usually there's some type of prize associated with those events and a goat format world championship invite can be given if you win a format library championship for ghosts so make sure you check that out again keep your ears open i will be talking about these i will be giving updates the websites We'll be talking about them and everything so if an flc comes around if you can make schedule for that i would definitely sign up for it if that is your thing if you like playing in the tournament environment again all these tournaments and all this stuff it's only up to you as a player if that's something that fits your interest if you want to play on a more casual level there are people who are willing to do that and have fun with it you don't have to play in the tournaments but it just makes the playing experience a little bit better if you're playing for something if you're competing on a on a tournament style level it's lots of fun so again reach out to the staff there talk to birdman reach out to uh, other some of the other moderators and administrative uh, personnel there and they can help you guide you along that process as well no issues all the links to all these uh, discords will be down in the description of this video and uh, go check them out okay the next one i'm going to discuss is going to be the goat format europe discord okay Goat format europe it's uh it, it basically is a way for players in the european time zone to kind of find games and find people to play with in their own time but their premier event that they have in the goat format europe discord is going to be the academy system uh you've heard people reference the academy program or the academy system or talk about the academy league all the time it comes up Basically, if you don't know what that is, I have several videos I'll link in the description to this. Uh, Necromancy for Kids, shout out to him. He is a great asset for the Goat Format, Goat Format Europe Discord, and he helps uh, facilitate a lot of that stuff. And Cal Calcifer and a lot of other uh, people there help uh, run run that entire entire program. So I'll briefly go over what the Academy League is. I'll try to give you what from what I from what I think it is. But again, go check out what Necromancy has said about it. it's way more detail. Essentially there are three levels to the Academy program. You got Slifer, you have Ra, and you have Obelisk. Okay. Everyone starts out as a Slifer. The the lowest entry level stage that you can that everyone starts at. Once there are eight Slifer slots that have filled up they start an eight person slifer event. If you win an eight person slifer event, you then qualify to become a raw. You get promoted to raw. Okay, once you're a raw and enough raws have graduated and become raws, they launch a raw event. An eight person uh, raw tournament will take place. You win a raw, you become an obelisk. Okay, and then once there are enough obelisks, they launch an eight person obelisk tournament. And if you win an obelisk, you are then uh, given an invitation to the Go Format World Championship. If at any point you lose at any level of the academy, you're automatically reduced back to Slifer no matter what. If you're Obelisk, you go back to Slifer. If you're Raw, you go back to Slifer no matter what. Okay, so the great thing about the Academy League is that it's kind of play as you go. It's not a one day thing. So if you don't have a lot of time, which I hear from a lot of people that I engage with on Dueling Book and uh, reach out to me in, in, on the comment section or in Discord or whatever, they always say, hey, I wanna play, I wanna do this. It sounds like lots of fun, but I don't have a lot of time. Well, then the Academy League might be for you because it's not a one day thing. You can set your schedule, you set your dates and you play against the person that you are paired with and then whoever wins, you just report it through the Discord and then it just goes on that way so that's that's another that's another fun thing to do uh, for people who don't have that type of uh, flexible schedule also another great thing that go format europe does is they have these like 
they have these different events, these different special slifers that take place periodically as well. Different deck building challenges, different deck limitation challenges, different types of things. Uh, the No Trinity tournament is still kind of underway. It's, it's finishing up now. They'll do different things like that, which kind of just changes the game a little bit, make it a little more fun. If you have time, I would definitely consider trying some of that stuff. It's lots of fun. It's something to do just to play the game a little bit different. So right now we have the goformat.com, we have Format Library Discord, and we have the Go Format Europe Discord. But there's one more place. Last, but most certainly not least, we have another place to play some goats on a very high level. We have the Goat Format War League. Okay, the Goat Format War League is a team-based uh, is a team-based competition league. Okay, so you go there. You have to have a Goat Format Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team, or you can find a team. You can create a team, join that league, and you play league play. There are going to be several weeks of league play, followed by a playoff, followed by a championship. Okay, so it's very competitive. I believe a lot. A vast majority of the highest level competitive players are participating in the Go Format War League. Like I said, it's it's not for everyone. I understand that. This is a very competitive, uh, highly contested situation. This is not for you know people who are just just very very new to the game. So really keep that in mind before you try to enter the Go Format War League. I would uh, do some more research. I would think about it if that's for you. But if you are interested in trying that, make sure you reach out to me. Come on into the Go Format War League. Check it out. Check the vibe. See if it's for you. Dig the scene a little bit. Like I said, it's very competitive and it is it's still a lot of fun if that is your thing. If you like to compete, if you like if you like to compete and you like to push the game as far as you can, you know, Go Format wise it's it's a great place to be okay so that is kind of in a nutshell i just want to kind of do it very quickly and videos to come i will go into more detail of exactly how to sign up for events it's kind of it's kind of easy i rather do it one-on-one -on -one basis so at any point if you ever are having issues signing up for a tournament or your thing you can't you you have more questions feel free to reach out to me i don't i don't mind i'm i'm i always have my phone with me i'm always hanging out by the discord anyway so just reach out and i'll kind of guide you through the process of how to join these events and i'll also be using this platform to put out information about any of the events that come up for anything that is goat format related but yeah i think i think i pretty much hit everything that i wanted to discuss about what to do what to look out for in goat format uh, again with this channel we're going to continue to we're going to continue to push content about goat format we're going to continue to do different things. You guys got to let us know what you want to see on this channel. I am going to continue to make videos. However, you guys, uh, you guys show in your likes and comments and everything. And I'll continue to do, I'll, I'll continue to do that. Scu also, also Scully's got the live streams going. Scully's lab is back in full effect. Everyone loves to see that. I'm considering doing a live stream as well. If you guys want to see that, I will be more than happy to start doing that as well. Just whatever I can do to help the goat format situation. I am willing to do that. Uh, but that's all I have. I just want to put out this real quick information for people who don't know, who are interested. Again, I am an open, open door, ask whatever you want about how to play in these events. And I'll be more than happy to facilitate you in that regard. Well, that's all I have until the next time I'm JDZ. I play ghosts. You should too. Shout out to the real ones. Salute to the OGs. Peace. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.